Go. Oh. <laughs> All right. We're sorry. Oh, okay. Okay, so our teaching uh, project we did on 615 at Mount of Olives. My name's Colin. I'm Chloe. And so for our teaching assignment, the goals of the assignment was to kind of call on abstract thinking, teamwork, collaboration, and using um, fine motor skills. So the first part of the assignment um, kind of goes back to kind of the older game of just kind of connecting the dots. So how we did it is we kind of just drew an image on the board and kind of walked them through how they're going to be uh, how they're going to be working through um, the assignment. So the the room was set up with five different room, uh, five different tables that had assigned seating. It was roughly five people per table, and they each had a different image. And um, the image you have to kind of connect the dots um, to make the whole thing kind of pop out. So we started off by showing them that that you're going to connect dot one to dot two dot two to dot three, three to four, and back to one, just to kind of show them the general principle of the assignment. Yeah. Um, so as Colin mentioned, each of them had an image on their table. Um, and these are the images that we had. So the first one was a dinosaur. Second one was a fish. The third one was a dragon and the fourth one was a duck and the fifth one was um, a cat and each of them kind of varying in difficulty I would say we try to keep it all the same um, the biggest difficulty we found with giving these out was mm, most of them could do it almost all of them right would you mm -hmm. not agree uh, like 90% did it a few, couple couldn't because of restrictions like their eyesight. Um, one participant said that he had left his glasses at home, so um, we helped. Uh, but after we showed this on the um, board, we were up front for maybe five minutes uh, between the introduction and the illustration. We actually went around after that. We kind of split up the room. Uh, Colin had this half, I had this half, and then we like overlap. Um, and we went table to table asking them questions if they um, had any questions basically um, also illustrating if they needed help which a couple of them did need our help and just saying oh hey some would draw like one to seven just because they thought that's where it was and it's like no it's actually like I know it seems elementary but it's one two three um, and that took all together about 20 minutes um, and then after they connected the dots, we told them to uh, color if they wanted to. So that also promoted creativity. Um, and the participants at this facility definitely love coloring. When we first walked in, that's what they were doing. Working on their own images. Yeah. Um, and then, so yeah, that took about 20 minutes for everyone to get done. Again, there were some who did it like super fast um, and others who took the full time to do it. Um, so after that, we erased the board. I went back up here. So then the second part of the um, activity was kind of going on to a crossword puzzle. So as I mentioned, there are five groups and each group had their own image. Um, so on each table, we had given them kind of like a little sheet of paper that kind of described the image of another table's um, I guess animal and um, I was pretty much up on the board calling on the tables and having Chloe uh, kind of assist the um, the clients um, like reading reading the description and then um, kind of facilitating that with the other groups this is how I had on my paper Colin drew it differently better there, but I'm just doing it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can you just do it out like that? Yeah. Honestly, that does make a lot more sense. <laughs> so. Good thing. Do the dashboard. So 
So as Colin mentioned, we had a little slice, slice of paper on each of the tables. Um, so the first table was a dinosaur. Um, and the slip of paper on that table <clears throat> said prehistoric animal. So that group wasn't allowed to guess, obviously, because they had the image of the dinosaur. Um, so I went to that table and I read it out loud. I said, okay, um, all of these are going to be animals, guys. Uh, this is a crossword puzzle. I know that a lot of you guys like those. I saw you guys doing them earlier. And this is just to promote uh, teamwork and, you know, ask your uh, co-fellow table members if they um, also want to partake and help instead of just like blurting it out, which most of them, I'm not gonna lie, blurted it out, but we were trying to facilitate, facilitate the collaboration. So first one was prehistoric animal. This one took them a little longer because a lot of them were trying. They didn't have the image, so they had no idea. Um, a lot of them were guessing specific breeds of dinosaurs and uh, Colin and I are not expertise, so uh, that's not what we did. We just did dinosaur. So then, okay, great, group two guessed dinosaur. That's right, so then put it up here just like you would any crossword puzzle. Um, second group had a fish. So I went to that table, the slip that uh, we had written on their table was, I can live in both salt and fresh water. They got this one pretty fast because again, it was already kind of up here, uh, fish. And then the third one, third animal is gonna be my favorite, the dragon. Um, creative one. Yeah. <laughs> and for this one, uh, the slip of paper said, I can create fire. And they guessed it really fast on this one. Um, I do want to mention we also gave out um, prizes for each person that guessed it correctly. Beaded necklace. Um, it was a cute little beaded necklace that the facility uh, allowed us to use. Uh, okay, so we just the dragon, right? Cool. So then group four uh, had the image of a cute little duck. And for this one, this uh, sheet of paper on their group table said mascot for the Anaheim hockey team. Somebody guessed it right away, the ducks. Again, we only put duck. <laughs> Boom. And last but not least, we have cute little kitty. And for this one, uh, the sheet of paper said, some say I have nine lives. They guessed this one pretty fast as well. And it was cat. And that was it. Like, yeah. yeah, so overall it took probably about like 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, like we kind of said earlier, the introduction was about five, the connecting the dots and the coloring was 25 or so minutes. And then doing the descriptions and the crossword took about the last 10 minutes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's our breakdown. And overall, I felt like it went pretty well. Yeah. They enjoyed it and it was- We almost had like 100% engagement. engagement, almost. I think there was, there was a couple that had Parkinson's that had uh, more issues doing the, the dots. Mm -hmm. um, but I think everyone, everyone participated. Overall, yeah. Uh, and that's it.